Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here. Just uh, stepping out of my office. I'm going to go walk over to the cabin where I'm going to give you guys an update. Uh, we got the cabin, what, a month ago, two months ago, a long time ago. And uh, since then, there has been some, some stuff that's happened. Um, mainly trips, good things. Not, not everything's bad. Guys, don't panic. <laughs> but some trips, some vacations, and some injuries. Bad, that, that's a bad thing, right? Injuries are not good. And so uh, I had a huge delay. I had three injuries back to back. Two of them were my eyes. I had two eye injuries, like back to back, which is crazy. And then I had a really bad finger injury. I think you guys saw that. And so it's just been crazy delayed and nuts. And then I've had this technical thing where I cannot get video files to upload from my phone to edit them together. There's my dogs. So I, I filmed a lot and I've, I've been needing to edit for you guys and upload videos and I just can't get it to go. So if you guys have a camera recommendation, a cheap camera, good budget camera, let me know because I need something more than just operating off of my phone. This is, this is just not working for me. So for now though, I do want to update you guys on the plumbing of what I've been doing on the cabin. I've also started the electrical, so you'll see a lot of changes in the RV, but I want, or I'm in the cabin, but I wanted to show you guys where it's all coming from. So this here is where the septic, electrical, water, and internet is all going to end up coming from in the cabin. Now, if I show you guys the perspective here, let me switch hands. Uh, Got to get way out here so you guys can see this. So there it is. If I trench under the RV, there's the cabin. So I've got to do, I got to do some digging. And so that means that I wasn't able to do a proper pressure test on my plumbing, but I got really creative and I put a water hose thing on here. If you guys can see that. I'm totally not dressed to be working, but this is YouTube time. I've been doing YouTube work today. So uh, water hose connects to here and I was able to do a pressure test for the plumbing of the RV. I'm sorry, the cabin. I'm, I've got RV on the brain because I'm literally hearing the AC running. So let's go through here. And do you guys like my stepping stool? I already broke one. I broke that. It's not broken all the way, broken enough to where you don't want to put your weight on it. But yep, so let me get up in here. And welcome back to the cabin, guys. Um, you guys remember how this is supposed to look? So that's the kitchen over there. And you know what? I'll go ahead and give you guys the tour of what that looks like. So it's real simple. We have the, the hot and the cold. I'm gonna be doing the drains and the vents after the floor is insulated and we put the plywood underneath that insulation or on top of it, if you're thinking about it upside down because I don't want to have to worry about hitting the drains and everything while we're doing that. And I say we, cause I do have somebody that's going to come help me. So, uh, kitchen sink there. And then around the corner, we have the fridge and that's all the plumbing in the kitchen. Everything else is in the bathroom and things. So what I did was I went in the floor from the fridge under the floor. I'm trying to show you guys under the floor to the bathroom. So that's the route. Uh, we literally, me and my wife did that on Saturday. Today's literally Friday. It's been over, it's been nearly a week. It's crazy. But those water lines come out here. We have ourselves a double vanity. And then right over here, that's a toilet. And then wrapping around, we have the shower. So we have here, um, shower valve, tub spout, and then shower ahead, which I put at seven foot two. <laughs> and finally a shower that I don't have to duck for. It's gonna be fantastic. Just to remind you, I am, I'm six four. I'm not freakishly tall, but I'm tall enough to understand that shower heads can be my enemy, especially in RVs. So now I'm going around to the um, washroom where the washing and washer and dryer will be. Um, and, and again, there's the shower. It comes over. Here's the washer and dryer here. And then it goes up to where the water heater will be. And if I show you guys from above, this will probably make a little more sense. So the hot and the cold, this is the loop. This is, if you imagine this thing is the water heater. 
So you have, um, I'll, I'll be cutting these, transitioning from PVC to whatever the, the lines are for water heaters, but they're threaded with gaskets. Uh, and then here, I actually have a main valve, and this main valve is, is off right now because I don't have, I have pressure in the lines. It's, it's actually fantastic. There's water pressure on the lines just to make sure there's no leaks. Um, so far, so good. I'm amazed because I, I just, you just don't know, you know, like you do all this work and then you're afraid you're going to pressurize it up and everything's going to leak. And it's, that's not the case. The only leak I have is actually in the front door. Something's wrong with the threshold, but I'll fix it. So, um, from the valve, we have the main line, which is PEX. It con converts to PVC and it goes down to the bottom of the floor. It's making noises. I don't know why. Probably because I touched it. I shook it up and the air, there was probably an airlock up there and I, I, I disturbed the airlock and a bunch of water probably came up. But that's the plumbing. Um, once again, just the hot and cold pressurized lines are put in right now. The hot and cold between the bathroom and the kitchen are, are underneath the house running under the, like I, I drilled the, the um, what are they called? Floor joists. I drilled through them, quarter of an inch, two of them side by side as high up as I could. So now we get to insulate it and those pipes will be on the inside of the insulation. So when the house is warm in the, in the winter time, those pipes won't freeze. They'll stay warm because they'll be right up butted against the floor again. And, and I was just thinking ahead. It's like, okay, my other plan was come up, go up, go kind of like follow the electrical lines here. You know, that was kind of my route that I was planning on using for the, for the plumbing. And I decided that's a lot of pipes and walls. That's a lot of room for error. Not everybody is gonna be paying as much attention as I would if I was hanging something. Odds are somebody's gonna stab that one day with a screw or a nail. So by putting it in the floor, I think it's a little more safer. It's not as, not as dangerous. So that is the plumbing done as of a week ago. <laughs> and I'm actively working on the electrical right now. Uh, we're working on just getting all the rough end wires put in the right place and everything. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm, I'm actually going to be doing the air conditioning myself as well. I found a DIY mini split system. So I'm going to be doing, putting two of those and that requires the right electrical. It's amazing. You, you get going with these kind of things. Like I said in the previous video, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Well, I'm, I'm taking multiple bites. <laughs> I'm taking multiple bites because you just got so much you got to think about when you're doing plumbing and electrical. Like for instance, am I going to put a water hose bib on the outside of the house? Well, no, because I've got soft water that's going to be coming inside the house from where the, that thing is on the other side of the RV where all the water and electrical is coming from. I'm, I'm just going to put a pump house right there after the RV is gone. And that's going to be where the water softener is. So I can't do a hose bib. Okay. Problem solved. Well, what about um, outside plugs? Well, if you look, see that, that funny look, that funny thing kind of going, going diagonal, that's two lines that will be an outside outlet. So planning ahead and trying to think about everything, including outside lights, outside outlets. Those are the easiest things to forget about. Um, we also got like independent circuits and stuff for the garbage disposal and the dishwasher. Each one's going to have their own line, uh, their own circuit to the breaker box. And yeah, I've had so much help. People have been super helpful, especially at the local Lowe's. So shout out to Lowe's. They're awesome. And, uh, I've just been super blessed, just taking it one bite at a time and enjoying the process. And the only bad thing is like when you're, cause I live about 20 minutes away from civilization. Um, if I, if I don't have a thing I need, I literally can't do anything. And that's what happened today. I, if you hit a nail with the, uh, the drill bits, cause there are nails in the boards that I'm drilling through. If you hit a nail, that drill bit stops working. <laughs> So I've gone through three drill bits so far and I need, I need probably three more. They're cheap. They're like $4, $3 a piece. And it's worth it because you're able to do so much work with this, but it's annoying because like today I, I went to this, I went to Lowe's. I got wire. I literally got, look, I got this, this stupid, uh, I got like gauge 10 wire. This one's going to be for the AC unit that's on that side of the house. And then I got... And it's a 110 volt, so that's why it's a 10-2. I got a 100-foot roll of 10-3, and 
And that was like 280 bucks. It's, 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 it's painful, but again, I'm doing it all myself. So I'm saving a ton of money. But by doing it myself, the electrical, the plumbing, and the AC, at least up to this point, once I have done the AC and finished the electrical, I've, I probably have saved easily seven grand in labor. Easily, maybe more. The, la the, the material has been, the, the framing was, pro was about $600 in, in, in lumber. The plumbing material was about 700. The electrical was about 1,000. And the material for the ACs will be quite a bit because the ACs aren't cheap. I think it'll be probably more like 4,000 for the ACs. But, I mean, it's fun to do, <laughs> to be honest. And it's, um, it's super rewarding to get to a point where you can do a pressure test or something and nothing leaks. Or, or you know, if something leaks, you fix it and then it doesn't leak, that kind of thing. So I'm very blessed, very happy, and so far so good with the plumbing. So let me... Uh, let me end on a high note here. This breaker box, I've ran all these lines so far, okay? This is over a thousand linear feet so far of lines. This isn't even all of them. There's some coming in from the bottom. Uh, we're gonna be doing this breaker box. This right here, guys, it was, a big, it was a big job. And so far, no issues. I'm satisfied. The plumbing was easier, go figure, than the electrical. So I'll be covering the electrical in a little more detail in the next video. And I guess, once again, if you guys have any cheap camera suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to do these one takes uh, for each step of the process. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching and God bless.